And so we hold these two sort of um, opposite things together. The fact that God is a God who gives revelation, who gives insight, who gives understanding, and who gives knowledge, and yet at the same time that there are things that are unknowable and things we will never understand this side of seeing Jesus face to face. It's important for us to remember that. Moses put it this way. He said the secret things belong to the Lord, but the revealed things belong to us and our children forever. Um, and so we look for understanding and we look for revelation while at the same time we understand that there is so much going on that we do not see. Right? We pray it all the time from Paul's prayer um, to the Ephesians, for the Ephesians, right? He says, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly above, immeasurably more than everything we ask or imagine, according to the very same power that's at work in us. And I believe if we are faithful, at, like Paul, to read and to study the scriptures, Asking the Spirit to open our eyes, not, not, so we find an affirmation for ourselves, right? Not so we find some good thought that we take along for the day, but if we ask the Spirit to open our eyes that we would see God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit through the Scriptures, I believe that we have this same experience that Paul has, where we have understanding and revelation, and at the same time, we are blown away by the majesty and the power of God. 